Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we'll see problem number three. Problem number four of today's contest is already live on the channel. You can just go and watch. Please, please, please like it if you like it. And comment down below what you like it and what you didn't. You can also comment down below that part. Cool. Um, the problem says that uh, the problem involves stacking of the frequency of IDs. Whenever we hear the word frequency, we know that we have to maintain the frequency by using an unordered map or an hash map. Cool. So this is one thing. We'll keep on knowing what we have to do as we keep on reading the question itself. In a collection that changes over time, okay, you have two integer arrays, nums and frequencies of equal length n, and each element in nums represent an id. So basically, the nums array we have. This is the id. This is the id. This is the id. id is two. This is the id. id is three. This is the id. id is two. This is the id. id is one. And corresponding to these ids, the frequency is three. The frequency is two. The frequency is minus three. The frequency is one. Okay, great. Now, addition of ids, which means okay, if, if something is positive, that is the addition of id that many number of times. And removal is nothing but minus id. Okay, minus id. Now, what I have to tell to the interview or to the uh, like person who's asking me is that return me an answer array of again length n where answer of i represents the count the count again the count we know it is generated by the frequency itself the count of the most frequent id in a collection after the ith step so i will keep on maintaining the okay which means map of two will give me a frequency of three at this point at this point map of two has a frequency of three okay now at this point map of three is not there so map of three has a frequency of two at this point map of two i will add this frequency which is minus three okay add a minus three in this will become a zero so okay frequency will become a zero at this point map of one I can simply say frequency is one, frequency is one. So this is, I will keep on maintaining. But what is the answer I have to return? At every step while I was updating the frequency, I will also have to say that, bro, give me the count of the most frequent ID, which means I have to return this specific thing. Which means if I go back and start from the very scratch, I have to return the count itself. So map of two. In the very beginning, I have two and the frequency is three. Okay. Now, okay, first step then, which means index zero is completed. Right now, what is the answer? Answer is what is the count? Which means what is the frequency of the most frequent ID, which has the maximum frequency? Return that maximum frequency. I know so far the answer is three. Answer is three. Okay. Now three comes in map of three will become as you can see frequency is two map of three will become a two okay great so again maximum frequency is again a three so answer is still a three again map of two i added a frequency of minus three okay minus three added it became a zero now the maximum frequency is two okay maximum frequency is now two okay two now map of one map of one what is the frequency? What is the maximum? What is the frequency? Okay, one. Simply added. What is maximum frequency now? Zero to one. It is two. Answer is two. So you can simply see that at every point you do two things. Firstly, the first operation is again. I'll just replicate now what I have to do. As first thing, I will use a map, an ordered map or a hash map. I'll use that to update the frequency. But out of all the maps which I have present with me, I want to grab the one which is having the maximum frequency. So out of all of these, I need to grab the maximum frequency. How I can grab that? That's a question. Now, whenever we have to grab anything, maximum, minimum from a data structure, we know we have a few options. We have priority queue, we have set, we have another. Okay, uh, we can have a map also, but map gives you the key as maximum or minimum. That will and you want the value to maximum or minimum. So you will have to maintain a priority queue or a or a simple set. So uh, usually for me, it is much easier. Again, you can also you can also solve it by using a priority queue. But for me, it is much easier to work with sets. So what I will do is I will keep a max set, which means I'll say, hey, OK, the set it is sorted in the decreasing order of what of something. So one thing RN shall I only keep, okay, now RN, you know that I will use a set because I know I will sort that set in the decreasing order and I will get the maximum frequency out. So bro, I'm saying you, if you will put in, what you will put in inside the set, will you put in this frequency itself? Yeah, and I'll put the frequency. Okay, 
let's say you put in the frequency as 3 then this came in element 3 came in you will put the frequency as 2 as 2 you will put in now whenever you want to grab the maximum frequency you will grab this maximum frequency out so it will the set will give you 3 maximum frequency again if you sort again if you just define the set set of int and if you want that by default it is sorted in the increasing order which means very smallest value will be at the first and then so on and so forth if you want to sort it in the decreasing order then you will have greater of int this is the s now this is s now set is sorted in the decreasing order if i do a s dot begin it will give me the maximum value and it, it will give me iterator i will point and i will just address that iterator and get the exact value so by this i can get the maximum value that seems completely fine so far right but 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 what if the exact same element came in so you know okay exact same element which means 2 came in it actually frequency got reduced and it became as minus 3 okay minus 3 ah so this 3 this 3 should actually ideally go away and a 0 should come in here because you can see addition of 3 will actually make this as a 0 so ideally this 3 should go away and a 0 should come in now if you are using a set you can see that multiple elements can have same frequency so if you are using a set and if you want to only keep a track of the element frequencies itself then you should use a multi set so that you can have another three frequency also you can just remove one of the frequency three and just insert zero corresponding to that frequency but if you still want to use a set you can instead take a pair pair of what pair of simply your element and its corresponding frequency you can just simply keep track of that specific pair or you can also keep track of the index itself it's up to you so what i can simply do is i can keep track of the element and its corresponding index sorry, and, its co and its corresponding frequency and with that i can simply get this solved that okay if i know that okay if my three is being updated i know that for element 2 a frequency of 3 is being updated i will grab that element 2 frequency 3 from this set i will grab it and i will just simply erase this and i will now push okay element 2 now has a frequency of 0 that is it again but grabbing actually works on the first thing so first thing should be a frequency next thing should be an element so i will have by default 3 comma 2 just saying 3 is a frequency and 2 is the element 3 is a frequency 2 is the element i will grab it out and i'll push in 0 comma 2 because now the frequency is 0 and the element is 2 you can do it both ways you can simply only and only insert your frequencies also but make sure that make sure then you have a multi set for you now i will simply keep on again um there are ways to solve it by a priority key also exactly same will work for priority key also the code is pretty simple things are long long so make sure you also keep a long long for you i use an unordered map which will keep track of the frequencies and i used a set although i took a pair but also simply an element will also work i took a pair where the first thing is the frequency because i want to grab out the maximum frequency element and then element is just for my just for my node that's it it is not required if we go and get it we'll sort it in the decreasing order i will go and iterate on all the elements of my nums i'll grab the current element and i will check okay what is the pair this element i again i have not updated, updated the elements with the corresponding frequency i have not updated that but so far uh what is the current frequency and current element i'll grab that pair i will if that pair is in my set i will remove that i will update the frequency by the upcoming index frequency as you can see if i have an array like this i have an array like this. this frequency needs to be updated with the corresponding element so if this is the element this is the frequency i'll say map of element plus is equals to this specific frequency so i'll simply update that and i can simply push that in my push that in my set and also which means that push that in my set and also now i have to grab out the maximum frequency element so from this set itself i will grab out the s dot begin as begin because i know s dot begin the first element is the frequency next element is the element itself so i'll grab out the maximum frequency element that's and again i'm only concerned about the frequency at all i'm not concerned about the other stuff so i'll grab out the maximum frequency element and with that i'll 
simply know that this first is the actual frequency, which is the maximum frequency, and that's how I can simply solve it in O of n log n time. Cool. But this again, this is not the that much hard question. It is just involving data structures, and again, that's much of if you know about priority queue, if you know about set, if you know about multi set, that that is all what this problem requires and ask you to solve. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Good.